Welcome to The Journey. Today we're at Western Neon in Soto and I'm here with the creative director, Dylan. What's going down? Hey, what's up? Yeah, and we're gonna do a deep dive into Western Neon, the business, the history, and share some insight with you all. All right, so let's just get right into it, Dylan. Why don't you tell us really the history and the foundations of Western Neon? Um, you know, Western Neon um, really first starts back in the late 70s um, with a gentleman named Dean Blazik, who's kind of an OG in the neon field. Um, he started a school to really teach people how to work in the medium in northern Wisconsin. And mm -hmm. his two sons, Jay and Michael Blazik, learned from both their father and all the people who came from all over the world to study there. And he was responsible for writing some books called the Neon ABCs, which has become kind of a bender's mm -hmm. Bible in this industry, okay. teaching people all the moves. Um, from there, um, Jay and Michael Blazik founded the, the business as a gallery in 1985 to show light art. And then uh, almost 35 years later, here we are today. So what, what would you attribute most of the success behind Western Neon? Um, I think what's really most successful about Western Neon and why we are a success in this kind of very niche, kind of very special industry mm -hmm. is that we really focus on both the client, mm -hmm. looking at kind of like their ideas and what can we do to make our clients shine, you know, right. in this medium, how can we brighten up their day? And the fact that, you know, throughout all we do, there's a real attention to detail and mm -hmm. skill and craft, you know, but creativity is always gonna be in our DNA. All right, Dylan, so what's fascinating to me is that this has been around since 1985, also yeah. when I was born, and I know that a lot has <laughs> changed, you know, there was not internet and social media. So thinking about the way your business has changed and how it has grown, I mean, what's changed in the world of marketing for you and just how you can grow as a business, besides consumers being stoked on what you're doing and buying neon lights? Yeah, no, totally. I mean, I think you kind of hit the nail on the head on the last thing that you said, um, mm -hmm. because, you know, for us, really our biggest advertising is the work that we make. Um, we are literally populating the landscape with what we do. Everything we put out in the world is, you know, a voice for the vision that we're you know, trying to craft here. You yeah. know? So when people talk about us, when they take pictures of us, when they tell your friends, hey, we're, you know, where'd you get that? Or how did, how did you get it to look like that? Or yeah. what is that? Or where did that come from? I mean, those are all questions that I think that when people are looking at trying to market themselves, they ask that, like, how can we do that? Mm -hmm. You know, we're just doing it. I mean, there is a sign that we have in our in our showroom that says art that works, I right? I love that. And I think that for us, you know, that is what this medium does is that um, it's craft, you know, it's, it's conscious um, creation of something that is built well, right? It's focusing on those things that you know you have control over to try to put out into the world. And once it gets out there, you have no control, right? It just kind of does what it does. Um, and if it's art that works, you know, and the client's gonna win, you know, the crowd's gonna win, and ultimately, you know, we're gonna win because everybody looks good and feels good. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the idea. And what I love about that is, and you can hear the passion when Dylan talks about this and the art and the creativity. Tell me if you agree, but what I love about social media is you do have platforms to tell your story. You can reach a large audience. Sure. And people who yep. maybe have never heard of Western Neon, although I would be surprised, but maybe they never heard about you and they're looking for something that you can create and they need your inspiration. And For because sure. of sites like, I know you guys are on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, they have a way to connect with you and you have a way to share the story For besides sure. like a conversation like this. Yeah, no, I think it's key. I mean, I think one of the main things about that is that, um, you know, if you really look at, um, you know, 2014, I think is a turning point um, right. because that's kind of like when web 2.0 kind of mm -hmm. became a thing. That's when you have that kind of you know, creator driven content and it has a place to populate, right? The kind of web is a place to have your voice and your vision reach people um, and you're in complete control over making that a success or making it implode, right? right? Mm -hmm. But that is what's exciting about it is, is that you have the ability to tell that story. And what a lot of people don't know is that, you know, neon itself, which we, which we call neon really, um, there's five noble gases that illuminate. You've got helium, neon, argon, krypton, and xenon. Is there going to be a quiz later? They're going to be a quiz later. <laughs> yeah, so study up. Um, I'm going to write really this down. Got it, right? they, they, they all glow a different color. And that's what's cool about it is that you've got those tools to work with. But um, in essence, the discovery of those five noble gases to mm -hmm. illuminate like that is really mm -hmm. the history of the internet itself. It's the history of computing. All the things that kind of the discovery of those things gave birth to in a real analog way. Um, really gave birth to the digital. So for you know us to be associated with um, something like uh, you know speaking with you today or or right. looking at how the internet behaves, for us to be a part of that, it's really just a natural fit. I know when I was on Instagram and learning so how much of 
your art was shaped by your childhood or the growth you've 100%. experienced yeah. and you talk about that and like don't forget where you're from yeah this don't was, forget where you come from that's yeah. a, i spent a lot of time in this headspace or in my basement listening to music as a kid and yeah. that is showing through your art and yeah. i think that's Oh yeah, that's a way that then like, I didn't even meet you, and I was like, I'm connected with Dylan. Well, that's you, I, hey, right here. We have that up. I yeah. appreciate that kind of deep dive like that. That's cool. I mean, because you know, yeah, that that's the thing is that like for me, this medium does connect to a very childhood, almost like you know, you call this show the journey. This whole medium for me from the very beginning has been a journey. Yeah. You know, it's discovering kind of like what the medium <clears throat> is it. about, discovering who I am as a person, discovering who are people that I can trust, and they've always been centered around this industry. Talk to us about some of those successes and those challenges that, that may actually help them. Yeah, I think, um, you know, one of the most important things about, um, you know, uh, starting something um, mm -hmm. or, or, or pushing something forward or making it a success is that, you know, you just have to jump in there. I think that um, everybody wants something to be perfect. Or they want mm -hmm. to kind of hone it in the lab, and well, we, we can't we can't release it until it's perfect. We can't like you know you have to just kind of like do it and yep. then kind of pivot and adapt as you go because the feedback you get from the public, whether mm -hmm. you consider that your client or the you know mm -hmm. or, or or the consumer or however you you know define kind of what you're shooting for, is what kind of evolves it along the way. Just dive in. Yeah. Go. Yeah. And then take the feedback. I, I love that. I feel the same too about social media. A lot of times, small business owners just starting out on it, they're like, <gasps> and Gotta don't make that know perfect what to post. post. The perfect it needs post. to be perfect. Yeah, you get the stage and it's fright. like, yeah. just get some content out yeah. there and then see how it does and then take that as feedback. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a thing about people, you know, don't read the comments and it's like, it's all in the comments. Right. Like, yeah. You know, you gotta, you know, you, whether it's good you or bad, comments, you need to get in right? there. Yeah, and yeah. figure out, you know, just who you are and what you're doing. And um, I think that it's it's really important, especially when it's something creative too, because mm -hmm. like, I think that, you know, if, if you're in a creative space, it's like, um, it, and it's interesting in this in this medium that we do called Neon, that it really is art and commerce put together very mm -hmm. quickly. And so navigating those two spaces, especially the confluence of them, you know, at the intersection of that, can definitely be a challenge. Where is Western Neon going? Like what, what does the future look like? Or what are you all trying to really achieve? Since the beginning, it was this, you know, was this gallery, right? Um, mm. which, which, which is beautiful. And then it, um, you know, kind of evolves into a sign shop because okay. that's kind of a way for, hey, we, we gotta make some money. And actually we're pretty good at this too, right? So you're, you're still kind of doing, you know, this creativity, but it's the craft combined. Mm -hmm. And then I think at this point in time, you know, every time we give a tour to somebody here, they're always walking away like, I thought you just made neon. Um, but because we offer so much more right. and we've kind of had to over the years because you have to have a way to, you know, fabricate things for the neon to go on. You have to have ways to power the neon. You have to have um, ways to get it out into the world, to engineer it. So all these different, you know, components that go into it and process mm -hmm. that um, really have kind of evolving into a concept design build provider for like, you know, the, mm -hmm. the, the world that we live in. Right. So I'm excited for 2020 because. I think we're going to start having the ability to tell that story mm -hmm. and to have other people tell it with us as yeah. like that sort of journey that's going somewhere completely different. And I think that's exciting for everybody here. So speaking of evolving, Western Neon has clearly evolved a lot. I know GoDaddy has evolved a lot. And we actually are coming out with a new logo. And I hear we're turning it into a neon sign. Um, yeah, and you know, today we're going to actually look at picking out the right color, blue, to make it pop and to make it be exactly what it needs to be, to be iconic. Um, yeah. Nothing can make something iconic like neon. It's that kind of like really cool concept of where you guys have evolved into this. Mm -hmm. It's minimal, it's pointed, it's direct. I think it tells people exactly what yeah. um, they need to know about who you are. And I think that, you know, you, you hit something, um, I think, perfect with this is that you're giving something to people that they didn't know they wanted, but that they always needed. And that's what yeah. you've got to do is what, you know, that's what GoDaddy does, right? Yeah. And so if we can get the right color, we get the right sign, you guys are going to be set. I'm, I'm super stoked. Yeah. You're hired. Hand in the you're keys. Hired. <laughs> Hand in the keys. <laughs> that's a wrap here at Western Neon and Soto. Be sure to comment below. Let us know what you think about the logo. Make sure to smash that like button if you like this video. Guys, thanks so much for being here. And please, 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 if you're out there, when you're out there, when you get on, subscribe to their channel and keep the comments coming. Thanks for being on the show. This is The Journey. We'll see you next time.